This is the first of a series of four recordings on a problem that bothers so many parents today. What should I teach my child about sex? And particularly, how should I go about it? It's intended for use by parents' organizations and PTA groups, not for children. It's not designed to be followed word for word, but to serve as a basis for discussion, as an illustration of how the beautiful story of creation can be told to children in a frank but perfectly natural way that combines both spiritual and biological elements. Only you, the parent, can decide how and when to give these instructions to your child. But these little scenes, by suggesting a phrase or a situation, may make your talk easier. In this first recording, a little boy who might be four or six has just discovered that the neighbor's dog has given birth to a litter of puppies. Out of this natural situation arises the first question usual in all sex instruction. Where do babies come from? The father, who might be you, answers him truthfully, seriously, but in a natural, informal way. Notice two things. First, the father introduces the name of God and the divine plan of reproduction very early. And this identification of God with creation carries naturally through the dialogue. Second, although the father answers the boy's further question, how does a baby get out of its mother's body, yet he gives a minimum of feminine anatomy at this stage and avoids arousing empty curiosity. In real life, this instruction might extend over two or three talks. The child's curiosity should govern, though we should be careful not to give him more than he can handle at first. Oh, that good. Oh, that good. How oh, I hate to saw this fire. What? Oh. <sighs> Golly, if I don't get a lame back out of it. Shirley, hey, Shirley. Did you call me, Jim? Yeah, I just had a bright idea. Any chance you're supposed to buy us a power saw by stretching the budget? What budget? Why, you... Now, look here. Oh, Jim Costa, you're not a very convincing martyr. If you'd only get out and do some exercise once in a while, you wouldn't mind sawing that little pile of wood. What do you mean, exercise? I love to saw wood. I love to saw wood. I love to saw wood. Uh, might as well be in a chain gang. Guess what? Guess what? Hi, Billy. Where's the fire? Well, Daddy, old best just had a litter of puppies. They're in that tool shed back of Dickie Lord's place next door. Six of them. Oh, golly, they're so tiny I can hold one in my hand. They can't even open their eyes yet. Oh, come on, Dad. Well, you just gotta see them. Well, I guess this calls for a little inspection trip. Shirley, I'm going to investigate a new family next door. Well, have fun. I'm sure that soul will work better when you get back. Uh, Billy, your mother's a wonderful woman. Sometimes I think she just doesn't understand us, man. Here we are, Dad. Just on the other side of the hedge in the shed. Uh -huh. Oh, golly, look at them, Dad. Aren't they cute? <laughs> My gosh. Well, that's quite a family best, old girl. You did all right for yourself. Hey, Dad, how did the puppies get there? I mean, well, before there weren't any, and well, all of a sudden, here they are. Oh. God made them, Sonny, just like he made everything. Yeah, well, I know that, but well, how did they get here? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, well, it was like this. Uh, everything that's alive grows from a tiny seed, you see? You know, the little tomato seeds you and Nancy planted in your garden, how they grew into nice red tomatoes? Yeah. Well, it's the same way with puppies. God planted the little seeds inside old Bess's tummy, and they grew into puppies. You mean the puppies come from inside, Bess? That's right. Remember how fat she was getting? Well, that's because she was carrying the puppies inside her. Oh, golly. But, Dad, how did the puppies get out? Easy. Uh, remember how I told you a hen lays an egg? Yeah. Well, it's the same way with puppies. Bess has a tiny opening in her body, and it stretches open so the puppies can come through. And then it closes up again, you see? Oh, gee willikers. Well, Bess, take good care of your babies. We've got to be getting back. Daddy. Hmm? 
What, Sonny? Daddy, do real babies... I mean... You mean do real babies grow inside their mothers, too? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Do they, Dad? Well, sure. But well, real babies are different than puppies. You see, when God makes a dog or a pussycat, after a while, it dies. And then we bury it in the ground, and there's no more dog or pussycat. But babies are different. Well, how come, Dad? How are they different? Uh, when God makes a baby, Billy, it, it's the most wonderful thing in the world. And here's the way he does it. First, he takes his tiny seed from inside the daddy. Then he plants the seed inside the mother. And then he breathes into it something that we call a soul. A soul? What's that? I never saw one, did I? <laughs> no, son. We, we can't see the soul. But it's the most wonderful part of the new baby. Because when the baby grows up to be an old man and he dies, they bury his body in the ground. But his soul goes to heaven and lives with God forever. Forever and ever? That's right. But, Dad, how do real babies get out of their mothers? Well, uh, that little egg that I told you about, God breathes a soul into it, and then it starts to grow. It grows for nine whole months inside the mother, right under her heart. And then when it's ready to come out, the mother goes to the hospital so the doctor can help her, and the baby slips out through the tiny opening in her body. You mean Mommy has a hole in her body? Sure. Well, we all have different openings in our bodies for different things. You have holes in your nose to breathe through and a mouth to stuff cookies into. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, mothers have a little opening between their legs. When the baby comes through, it stretches wide, and then it closes up again, you see? Gee. Gee, wait till I tell Nancy. Well, uh... Uh, I think we'd better keep this a secret just between the two of us for a while. Does Mommy know? Uh, yes, I think Mommy knows. But Nancy's only a baby yet, and she wouldn't understand. Later on, when she's as old as you, we'll tell her, too. Hey, there's Mommy now. I'm going to tell her about the puppies. All right. <laughs> Does Mommy know? <laughs> Wait till I tell Shirley that. Hey, Shirley! Yes, Jim. Yeah, dang, if this thing doesn't work better at that. Goes to show I don't know my own strength. <laughs> <laughs>